Hello, good morning. Welcome back to the video. It will be a quick one, I reckon, because the market has been uh, rather quiet, except for a few counters that have went up. Um, but we need to uh, continue to watch, like, uh, for example, Capital Corp, and then uh, IFAS. Uh, I did not really highlight in my email, but it is still running up uh, for many days already. And then uh, we're watching Sancorp Industry. So without further ado, let's uh, just go through briefly what the email covers. Okay, so uh, as you can see uh, here, we have uh, DBS UOB covered many times. Um, we have uh, Capital Corp here covered many times, Jiangzi Jiang Ship. I'd like to update on uh, Yen Lot because Yen Lot, uh, it, it, it has a very um, horrendous time where uh, it was uh, about to change its trend. But uh, suddenly, all things don't work out in China, and then uh, it is returning back to its uh, so-called comma time. And then uh, we'll be uh, looking at this uh, Gentin, whether Gentin can uh, really, you know, um, rebound from uh, this level. And then uh, SGX uh, had a volatile time. It's on a sideway where uh, it was uh, trying to uh, go up, but uh, swing down again and swing up again. So it has been uh, quite a uh, volatile period for some of the stocks. Then uh, Yang Zijiang Shipping, uh, we are looking at some upside here, but uh, it seems like it's struggling at this 149 level. And uh, Kepler Corp, as I have been updating in the email, we'll be looking at 649 resistance to break and then uh, hopefully it can hit to 684 uh, projected target. And Sanko Industry, looking at it, uh, it is uh, still consolidating um, now, I would think. And uh, I would need it to break out above 524 in order to be bullish. And then uh, city development needs to break away from this downtrend channel in order to uh, uh, survive um, or revive rather. Next, uh, we'll be uh, looking at these uh, indices and see what they are doing. And uh, last but not least, we have SIA, UOB. So uh, SIA uh, also trying to go for uptrend. Let's see whether it can succeed. Right now, let's take a look at the charts. So let's start with Capital Corp. Finally, it breaks up from the 649 resistance. Volume is quite healthy now as uh, taking into consideration of the time now is still morning trade. So uh, we see a very healthy volume here. So towards the end of the day, if uh, Capital Corp volume can hit as high as 5 million, then uh, we have a good chance for it to hit 678 to 684. So this is a, a nice double bottom breakout where you can see the infancy of uh, trend over here. We have a higher low, higher low, and now uh, we are on the way to see higher high. <clears throat> okay, so good luck to Capital Corp, Sand Corp Industry, one of the uh, key counters that uh, we will be uh, looking at. So it seems to be struggling at this uh, range of trade where it has been ranging from $5 to $5.12 or uh, $5.19, and then... Uh, Reluctant to hit 524, 526 level to uh, go for its um, bull run. So the uh, month of January is ending today. And then uh, we'll be seeing December. Hopefully December, some uh, window dressing will come to help to push the stocks uh, up. As thing to note is that the trading volume is also pretty low. So probably a lot of fund house or fund managers, they are on leave enjoying their Thanksgiving holiday. Then uh, let's take a look at Yen Lot. Yen Lot has been um, a uh, quite a troubled counters as uh, the overall trend is down, and you can see the uh, higher lows are, you know, compromised or negated. Once the stocks breaks the uptrend line, it, it is a sign of the uh, bearishness, and now it's back to its uh, key support level here at five four five, and if we break this key support level, then. Uh, we can see more downward movement uh, to its all-time low at 49 cents. And uh, this counter can remain low for quite some time if China 
uh, stimulus or revival plan fails. So the news is that China is doing more for their property uh, sectors, property market, uh, and uh, many anticipated um, some recovery. And now it's back to square one. So let's hope that there are more good news from the uh, government to uh, boost their property sectors. Then let's take a look at SIA, which have a similar chart. SIA has a, have a similar chart compared to Yen Lot. And uh, SIA is pending for breakout. Keep testing is resistant at uh, 639. Very similar to Kappa Cup as well. And hopefully the uh, breakout comes like uh, Kappa Cup and 657 will be the immediate resistance to watch. Then uh, we have, going back to the email, that um, we are looking at SGX and Guntin, right? City Development and UOB. And uh, let's uh, see right now where they are hitting. So we have uh, S, uh, SGX over here, volatile movement, swing up, swing down, swing back up. Then now it's like no more strength again. So the whole sideway is still very uh, a choppy movement for SGX. Uh, I would think that uh, uh, not an easy swing trade for this counter now. And uh, probably need to wait a little bit longer for you to hit 984. Then uh, Gantin, I believe a lot will be interested. Um, here, we see a, a bullish harami. This is a candlestick reversal pattern where it is a combination between this black candle and uh, white candle. So the black candle is carrying a white candle body. And it needs a follow through buying by closing around 9.2 in order to rebound to 9.7 resistance. Uh, let's hope that it can uh, do so and it will be an undershoot here. Undershoot means uh, not testing this 89 support and then uh, form a new minor support to uh, hit 97. That will be a bullish sign. Then we will be uh, staring at this um, city development. Let's hope that uh, it has uh, some uh, positive action coming in as now it's forming a hammer pattern and we need we need something that is uh, positive from this uh, counter where uh, it has a follow through buying. Hitting a 630, 639 will be immediate resistance to break. Then uh, break out from this uh, entire downtrend uh, channel. So let's uh, plot the downtrend channel over here. We have um, this uh, highs all connected roughly there and this low roughly connected here. So we have this downtrend channel here. So in order for city development to uh, change its direction or change its fortune, it should uh, go to around 665 uh, and above in order to um, revive, like I say. Okay, next, uh, let's take a look at the final check of the email and see anything that I missed out or Yang Zijiang ship. And then uh, we have uh, UOB, Riverstone. Yes, Riverstone, UOB. So Yang Zijiang struggling, struggling. Keep struggling at this uh, range, 146, 147, 149 uh, trading here. So we have another hammer pattern here. So let's hope that uh, it can work on this hammer pattern as the previous field hammer pattern fail to bring the counter back to its resistance at 156. Riverstone, as there are more, um, what we call the uh, pneumonia in China, so they, they see a uh, shortage of uh, gloves, uh, top grip gloves, medical gloves. Uh, so that's why uh, there was a attempt to break out. But today is seemingly weird as it opened lower and traded lower and the volume is... Uh, pretty high right now as compared to the previous few days of trading. So uh, if um, if you look at the how the stocks move, it has a risk of uh, ending its uptrend because uh, it's coming to this low. And uh, we really think that um, by having an action like this, uh, really is detrimental to its uptrend and uh, reduces its chance to uh, continue higher. So case in point is here. You can see it was running up nicely here. Then it suddenly gapped down, traded lower, 
and then it managed to rebound, but uh, it may, went on sideways before it go back on downtrend, then it recover again. So uh, yeah, you should watch out for similar action coming in. And if you have the position, maybe you should get out uh, and uh, watch and see uh, thereafter what happened to the counter. UOB formed a hammer yesterday, but uh, today it didn't have follow through buying as it opened lower again and uh, continue to consolidate within this range. So um, if the bull returns, uh, $28 resistance should be able to hold. But uh, for the time being, we are looking at this uptrend line to uh, help sustain the share price at a decent level. And um, if you look at the indices, uh, see how the market is moving. STI is uh, on a downtrend now, a short-term downtrend, as you can see, lo high, lower high, low, lower low. And uh, in order to break this downtrend, it has to go to 3145, which uh, is a top order as uh, we can see that the market lacks uh, buying pressure now. And then uh, we have Hang Seng. It has, been, uh, it has been in a coma for many years and uh, we can see some attempt to recover. And if this remains as it is, it is a hammer pattern and hopefully it can boost uh, some upward movement but it'll be tricky, it'll be tricky because if you look at the S&P 500, which uh, we are going to represent using SPY, it is uh, pretty much at a very high level. And uh, yesterday it attempted to break out, but break out field. This is a very, um, I would say not a very bullish sign. Lah. And typically after this kind of candle, open higher, close lower, S&P 500 tend to have some downward action like uh, here, although you see here after that black candle here, it did go out a bit, but it, it still pulled back and then consolidate for a while before it resumes up trend. Uh, here, immediately it goes for a downtrend. Here, also immediately go on downtrend. So where would the S&P 500 heading to? I would think that if uh, Christmas really were to uh, be here, there's no Grinch here. I think Biden last year did not support the Christmas rally as well. So you can see uh, the year 2020, okay, la, not so bad. La. Still still uh, ended the year at the high. And let's see whether this year we can see Christmas uh, rally coming. And uh, of course, all of, all of us know that next year will be a critical year. Uh, first, there will be an anticipated uh, interest rate cut, then followed by this uh, election I would think that um, in order to support his uh, re-election, Biden would support the interest rate cut. Uh, so this is the normal thinking. Lah. So will this happen? So you know that this world is uh, kind of uh, messy right now. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. Encouraging likes uh, appreciated. And I will uh, continue to uh, you know uh, share the video. Just in case if you don't like it, then uh, uh, please also uh, give me some feedback and uh, I may do some improvement. Okay, so thank you. Goodbye.